Hey everybody, this is Taha. So the other day I found this site called Build Space. And while I was scrolling, I noticed this kind of cool effect. It looks like cards stacking on each other as you scroll. So I went to the dev tools to see how it works and it actually turned out to be pretty easy to implement. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to implement this yourself with a pure CSS. Let's dive to some code. So we are here in an empty project. Let's add a header and a footer and a bunch of cards to display. So let's start with the header. We're gonna just add the header word and for footer, it's gonna say just footer. And between the header and the footer, we're gonna display all the cards that will stack on each other. So using emit, we're gonna say, let's create four cards. Each one would contain the word card and the number of the card. If I reload, now you can see we have the header, the four cards and the footer. Now let's add some basic styling to reset all elements to have zero margin and padding and set the box sizing to border box. So let's select all elements and say margin zero, padding zero, and box sizing border box. Now if I reload, you can see all the margins and paddings are gone. Now let's change the default font to something better. So let's say font family, let's use the system UI font. Cool. Next, let's add some background color to the header and the footer with some height. So let's target the header and the footer. They will look the same, so I'm gonna select them in one line. Now let's say the background color would be some dark blue here. Now let's change the color of the text to white. And add some height, let's set it to 200 pixels. And let's center all the text here. So I'm gonna say, display it as flex. Justify content, let's set it to center. And align items to center. Now let's style the cards. So I'm gonna target the card class. From the example I showed you earlier, we noticed that each card takes the full width and height of the viewport. That means we have to set the width to 100 of the viewport and the height to 100% of the view height. Now the next thing, let's add some background color to it. So for this example, I'm gonna set some background with opacity so we see that cards are stacking on each other. I'm gonna use some bluish color here. And also let's change the text color to white. And also let's center it. So now if you scroll, it will behave as any normal site. So you will see uh, we are scrolling and cards are displayed below each other as you would normally expect. Now the trick to make cards stack on each other is to use the sticky position. When we set some element to sticky position, it will make the element stick to the very top of the viewport as you scroll. So let's try and use that on cards. So let's say position, sticky. And we also need to specify the point the card should be sticky. Since we want it to stick at the very top of the viewport, so we should set it to zero pixels. So let's say top is zero. Now, if you try to scroll, you can see now the first card sticks once it hits the very top of the viewport, and the second card also sticks, and the third card, and the fourth card. Now, I scrolled all the way down, but we can't see the footer. And actually, this is expected. And the reason for that is that once you set an element to be sticky, then you also define the sticky container, which is the parent of that element. Since the parent of the card is body, then it will remain sticky as long as the body is visible in the viewport. In this case, body will always be visible in the viewport. So to fix this, we need to change the sticky container of the card. And we can do that simply by wrapping cards with another element. So we don't need to give it any class because we are not going to style it. So let's just say div and put all the cards inside of it. Now, if you reload, let's start scrolling. Now the first one sticks, the other one, the third one, and the fourth one, and now we can see the footer. And again, it works because now this is the bottom of the container div. So this is the div we, we displayed here. So this is the bottom of it. And once we scroll past it, then it ends so the cards stop being sticky. And then we can see the footer element. And now you know how to make stacking card scrolling effect with CSS. Now before we end this video, let's see how we can add an image to one of these cards. 
So let's add an image to the second card. So for this example, I will display an image above the card 2, and then the card 2 text would also be displayed above the image. So that means we need to add two elements to the div. One would be the image, and the second would be the content of that card. So let's start by adding the image. I'm going to use some random image using Unsplash API, so let's give it 1000 by 1000 pixels. Now if you reload, now you can see we are displaying the image above card 2. But maybe you've noticed that the image is not filling the whole card. And also, we see this horizontal scrolling issue. To fix it, we need to set the image position to absolute and set its width and height to 100% so it fills the whole card. So in RCSS, let's target the image inside the card. And let's set its position to absolute. And set the left and top to zero. And the width and height should be 100%. Cool, now that works. Now you can see how the image is squished, so we can fix it easily by setting the object fit to cover, so it covers the whole area. So let's say object fit, cover. Cool, so now it looks better. Now the next thing is to display the card content above the image. So let's first move the card content inside the div called card content. Doing that alone won't fix it, because we also need to set the card content to the absolute position and display it above the image. So to do this, let's first target the card content, and let's set its position to absolute, and also let's make it fill the whole card. We can do this by setting left top to zero and width and height to 100%, similar to the image. So let's paste this here. Now the next thing is we need to tell the browser to display the card content above the image. And we can do this by setting the z-index of the card content to something higher than the image. So let's set z-index to 2 here. And let's set also this to 1. Now you can see now the content is displayed above the image. But in some cases, the image can be white which would make the text not visible. To fix this, we need to add some black tint to the image. And thanks to the filter CSS property, we can do this by setting the brightness of the image to something lower than one. So let's say filter, brightness, and let's set it to 0.5. Now you can see we added some black tint to the image and the text would always be visible. So since the card content fills the whole area, then you can display the content inside of it however you want. So for example, if you want to center the text, all you have to do is just to say display flex, justify content, center, and align items, center. And you can see now it's centered. All right, now we have this work. Now we have the header, and once the card hits the top of the viewport, it becomes sticky, and the second card starts appearing, and also it becomes sticky. The third one the same, and the fourth one, and once we scroll past the container of the cards, all cards stop being sticky, and then we can see the elements below it. Cool, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new here. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.